Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Tuesday, August 1st, and today I'd like to talk about St. Alphonsus Liguori. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Well, happy feast day, friends. Today we honor St. Alphonsus Liguori, who was a doctor of the church, one of the great teachers of our faith. And St. Alphonsus was known in particular for his clear writings on the moral way of life. So oftentimes we can have two extremes when it comes to moral truth. Either we say, well, no, Christian discipleship is just about moral truth, and we kind of obsess about it. Or, no, 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 the way of the Lord Jesus, Christian discipleship has nothing to do with moral truth. And of course, these are both extremes. We have to be careful of that. We have to be careful that we don't obsess about the moral life, so much so that it's just about following rules, and we forget other important parts of Christian discipleship, such as the nurturing of virtue, or the life of prayer in the interior life, selflessly serving the poor, the sick, the suffering, seeking holy fellowship with other believers. The Christian way of life is so rich and so vast. Yes, it includes a moral way of life, but it's not just a moral code. Christian discipleship is about choosing to follow the way of the Lord Jesus. It's looking at the Lord, falling in love with him, accepting the love he has for us, and willingly choosing to follow him, to go wherever he leads. And yes, of course, that includes a moral code. But again, we can't relativize the Christian faith or Christian discipleship to just be a moral code. So for these reasons, you can see why St. Alphonsus de Gori is hailed in our tradition as the patron of moral theologians. So in your own discipleship, you can examine, have you turned Christian discipleship only into moral truth and obsessing about it, where it just becomes a set of rules? Or have you perhaps dismissed the moral truth all completely, and you think that following Jesus has no understanding of moral truth, no moral expectations? Or are you somewhere in between? We are all works in progress. So on this feast day, we can turn to this great teacher of our faith, this patron of moral theologians, and ask him to help us to understand that beautiful balance between moral truth and Christian discipleship. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you, keep fighting the good fight. And remember, you can receive spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.